So here's the deal. If you think of best launch mid-range phone around 25,000 without any compromise. So there are two options, Moto H30 and Realme 9 Pro Plus and you would be considering them, right? Right? Yes. Ah. So the answer is Moto H30 if you want stock Android, Realme 9 Pro Plus if you want the best camera in this price segment like flagship OIS, you know, that's the video, that's the answer. But wait, you are in for a surprise. Like let's divide this comparison into five parts. Design and display, performance, camera, software and battery life. And we'll see who wins and at the end we'll have the best mid-range phone around 25,000. Now, first up, design, well, it's subjective and hold on. So, which of these phones do you like more? In terms of build quality, I would definitely pick this Motorola. It's a pretty easy question. I'll obviously choose Moto because it's more classy, more lightweight. Now, an interesting thing, the Moto H30 has a plastic or sort of a plastic back and the Realme 9 Pro Plus has a glass back. Now does your opinion change? I don't think so because the back panel of most of these budget and mid-range phones feels almost the same whether if it's glass or plastic. Although I would prefer a plastic back panel now. <laughs> now for people who don't know, he broke his iPhone glass back and it costed some 30-40 thousand to repair. Even more than that, I think 40-50 thousand. Also Moto Edge 30 has this boxy design like it's not that sharp but a bit sharp like see here this is more round so it's a bit easy on the hands but personally Moto H30 looks more classy and of course it is the lightest slimmest phone in the segment but back then I even liked the black color on Realme 9 Pro Plus so subjective but what's not subjective is the display so Realme 9 Pro Plus has a 6.4 inch 90 hertz AMOLED display and Moto H30 has 6.5 inch 144 hertz OLED display. Now see in real life day to day task you won't notice the difference between 90 hertz and 144 hertz but see here this is an app that draws dots based on your touch. So see the Moto H30 has more touches and hence more dots. So suppose you're playing a shooting game like PUBG sorry BGMI PUBG is banned in India. So their Moto S30 will have a smooth gameplay and good display response. Rest, you get Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the Moto S30 and Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on Realme 9 Pro Plus. Both have in-display fingerprint scanner and more or less the speed is same. Both displays are really good and bright under sunlight but because of that 144Hz display lightweight design, I would slightly give this segment to Moto H30. Now, before you jump to the camera, the most important thing for me in a smartphone is software experience. And that's where Motorola smartphones huge following comes from. See, both phones have Android 12, but in Moto H30, first of all, you don't get any bloatware or ads. You have this clean stock Android experience and the whole UI looks and feels like Google Pixel and really fluid. You do get a bit of bloatware on Realme 9 Pro Plus, but it can be easily uninstalled. Now, Moto Edge series have their unique features like using your phone as a PC and playing games on a PC or just wirelessly sending files between phones and PC. On the same side, Realme 9 Pro Plus has this floating window wherein you can just make your gallery float and then drag and drop images from gallery to the keep notes or you have always on display as well. Also, both phones will receive two years of Android updates, which is up to Android 14 and three years of security updates on the Moto H30. But I'll still give the point to Moto H30 because there is no bloatware or ads. Now, to power this entire software, you get 4020mAh battery on Moto H30 and a 4500 milliampere battery on Realme 9 Pro Plus. Now you'd be like, Pratik, Realme 9 Pro Plus has better battery life than Moto H30. Of course, I knew it. Well, there's a difference between specs and practical usage. The Moto H30 easily lasts a day. I was able to get five to six hours of screen on time easily with 15 to 20% battery left. However, I would give the battery life point to Realme 9 Pro Plus because it has 60 watt charging that can go 100% in 45 to 50 minutes. Whereas the Moto H30 has 33 watt fast charging, which might be enough for most of the people, but credit where it's due and Talking about credit where due, if you like the video so far, subscribe to TechWiser to give us credit. Now, performance is where things get really interesting. Moto H30 comes with new Snapdragon 778G+, 
whereas Realme 9 Pro Plus comes with Dimensity 920. And then we have the classic Snapdragon versus MediaTek. Well, see, if you go by benchmarks, Moto H30 does beat Realme 9 Pro Plus by about 10%. But in day-to-day -day casual usage, both phones are equally fast, snappy. And if you do heavy tasks like video editing and all of that, see here, the Moto H30 renders faster. Rest, BGMI and all gameplay settings are the same. So again, in terms of raw performance, that point goes to Moto H30. Now the camera is where the major decision lies. Now both phones have a 50 megapixel main sensor with OIS. Now what I found is Motorola takes more natural colors if you look at Manu's face. Realme is a bit on the yellow side but for sure if you zoom in the Realme 9 Pro Plus is sharper. If you look at the area around Manu's t-shirt and all of that you can see the texture in the t-shirt. That sensor on Realme 9 Pro Plus is really good but just tone down the blur in portrait mode Realme like a little bit a little bit. And now we do often say megapixels don't matter, but here you get 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and Realme 9 Pro Plus has 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. So that difference shows in photos. Moto H30 has better ultra wide angle camera. Also, the ultra wide angle camera can be used as a macro camera on Moto H30. So you can take sharp macro photos for a change. Now, a very important thing to check with OIS and phones in this range is low light photos. And if you see here, the Moto S30 takes quite a bit of time to take the night mode photos. The Realme 9 Pro Plus just takes one second. And surprisingly in the photos, both of them look equally sharp. Like the Moto S30 photo looks a bit bright, but it's more or less the same. And we also checked 4K videos, how good are they in low light? And turns out again, the Moto H30 is a bit brighter, but in terms of sharpness and overall light control, both are almost the same. So this thing camera is a mixed bag. I like the ultra wide angle camera on Moto H30. Even the selfies were the same, but that main sensor is the difference between Moto H30 and Realme 9 Pro Plus. So very close, but I'll give the point to Realme 9 Pro Plus. Now, there are very small but important things to know about both the phones. You get five 5G bands in Realme 9 Pro Plus and 13 5G bands in Moto Edge 30. Also, 4G plus carrier aggregation works fine on both the phones. Also, you get all the important sensor on both the phones, but you have a headphone jack on the Realme 9 Pro Plus, which is a premium feature in my opinion. So the Moto S30 is the winner, but you have to consider the fact that Realme 9 Pro Plus costs only 24999 and Moto S30 costs 27999. Now you do get 2000 bank discount on both the phones via card offers and all of that, but still there's a difference of 3000 rupees. So see, if you want a really good software experience, performance, display, lightweight phone, and you have the budget, pick Moto H30. But if you're on a tight budget and topmost priority is camera, get the Realme 9 Pro Plus. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one. Pew pew.